A fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high o silver, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> In the early days of the western United States, the government found it hard to enforce its laws in the vast new territory. The local sheriffs gave the marshals their cooperation, but the man who did most to bring law and order to the frontier was the masked rider of the plains. Astride his great horse, Silver, he led the fight for justice, and the stories of his daring and his courage have come down to us through the generations. And now return with us to those thrilling days when the West was young, and adventure lay at the end of every trail. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading for the Rio Grande! Hello, Silver! The Lone Ranger and Tonto learned that some smugglers were active near the Mexican town of San Sebastian and rode toward the border. Night fell before they reached the Rio Grande, however, and the ranger called a halt at the first ranch house they came to. Oh, tell me. Oh, boy. Oh, 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 We can find out from whoever lives here who the sheriff is. Mm, that's right. Yep. You can wait here in the saddle, Tonto. I'll go to the door. Uh. Stand right where you are until you elevate your hands, mister. What's the matter? I saw you coming. Just push the door open and walk in slow with your hands raised. Oh, you're at the window there. And sighting this rifle on you. Come on now, I've been watching. That's it. Now kick the door shut with your heel and see to it that you keep your hands above your shoulders. Well, I reckon Paul will be right pleased when he gets back. Just who is your father? As if you didn't know. I guess you've crossed trails with him many a time, mister. Now take that mask off and we'll see at least one member of the dope smugglers. Dope smugglers? That's right. Take that mask off. But you're making Come on, it... quick. You put rifle down. What the? Me, take him. Let go. Uh, Let me take go. Take him. Oh, I should have known you wouldn't take a chance in coming here alone. Now, take it easy. I came here to find out who's sheriff of this county. You know, blame well, it's my pa. Your father? Yes, Pig Lake Sanders. I didn't know. Hmm. Mean to say you aren't one of the smugglers that's driven Paul most crazy these past weeks? I am not. And you mad? I'm not even an outlaw, Miss Sanders. I have my own reasons for being masked. Now, what's this about smugglers? If you don't know, you just ask anyone in town. For six weeks, some crooks have been bringing dope over the border. They've made Paul's life a misery by laying out false clues for him all the time. They have? Keeps him busy 24 hours a day doing nothing but following folks that he has reason to suspect are smugglers. You aren't one of the gang. What are you doing here? You say there's dope being smuggled and the smugglers keep the sheriff following false clues? Yes, they do. Then, Miss Sanders, to answer your question, I think I'm here to help your father. <laughs> That paint horse. Come on, Tonto. You cussed beast. I'll learn you. Him hit paint horse. Let me fix him again. Tonto. There. Steady, Tonto. Uh, you hit that man pretty hard. Him hit paint horse. No, no, Tonto. Don't take the last one. You've already knocked him out. You look. His gun was drawn. He was going to either shoot your horse for letting us know he was here or come into the house and cover us. 
Perhaps it's a good thing you acted as you did. I've got you covered again. Now raise your hand. To the saddle, Tonto. The girl won't shoot. Let me do that. I resist him. I'm not fooling, Stacy. Ready, Tonto. Huh? Head south. Learn more about the smuggling. Did you hear what I said? You will not shoot. Come on. Get him up. Take one. Come on there, fellow. Turn. Not shoot, Tonto. When we get near town, we split. Learn all you can about the smuggling. Feed in our last camp. Not good. Turn. Hadn't you better be getting back home, Pegleg? Maybe there'll be another clue there. All right, barkeep, never mind trying to be funny. The only way to run down these pole cats that are bringing in the dope is to follow every lead to get. First, you follow a medicine man, make him unload all his stuff in the wagon. Then you tailor a sky pilot over the border. Next, you suspicion a couple of old half-breed women of being men in disguise. I reckon maybe the U.S. Marshal is right after all. I'm a daughter and old fool that ought to resign from office. Oh, shucks now, Pegleg. I didn't mean to rankle you that much. Why, land's sakes, you was never one to take a thing to heart. Barkeep, I've had a good record for the 12 years I've been in office. One of the best, Pegleg. And the man that says different has me to fight. Now, along comes these smugglers, and along comes a new U.S. Marshal, and along comes government orders to get them smugglers or get out in office. No. Is that what you was told? Same as. Grant it. I'm willing to resign, barkeep, but I'd like to step out in my office with the record clean. As it is now, these coyotes are making a monkey out in me. Uh, what happened tonight? Same as before. I got what I thought was a good lead. Left yesterday afternoon and followed a couple of men south. Yeah? Spent last night across the border. Then picked up them two men and followed them back again. Got them on this side of the border and searched them and got them mad enough to foam with the mouth at me. Uh, they wasn't smuggling, eh? No. Not only that... There was government men working again the smugglers, same as I was doing. Seems they got the same sort of false lead I did. It's a doggone shame, Pegleg. Oh, what'll it be, Indian? You fix some food. Me take out. Want a supply of victuals, eh? Uh, here, this. I'll send it back to the kitchen. That's good. Well, I reckon I better be getting back to home. I left Betty there. You got good hands there, Pegleg. They'll take care of the place. Yeah, but I better get back anyhow. I'm tired. Evening to you, Barkeep. Evening, Sheriff. When the sheriff reached home, his daughter told him the story of the masked man and the Indian. And you don't have no idea who these two are? No, I don't, Paul. I almost got to see the masked man's face, but that red skin took the rifle away from me before he took his mask off. I see. Even then, I might have seen it. Buck Wilson was sneaking to the house to cover those two, but the engine's horse gave him away. And then what happened, Betty? They left after knocking Buck down. Wonder if they might be connected with this smuggling. I thought at first they might be, but if they were, they'd have known your name. Seems the only reason they came here was to find out who the sheriff was. Looks to me, honey, like these smugglers was too doggone slick for me. Paul, you can't give up. Well, I guess not I'll have to. If the smuggling ain't put to a stop soon, I don't know. Who's that? It's me, Buck Wilson. Come on in, Buck. Evening, boss. Glad to see you got back. Well, what's been happening on the ranch, Wilson? I ain't give much time to it since this smuggling business started. Oh, the ranch is going all right, boss. I heard you got knocked out. Yep. And maybe that was the luckiest thing that ever happened to you. Well, how's that? What do you mean, Buck? I think maybe I got a clue to this smuggling business. Yeah? When that engine knocked me down, I was sort of stunned for a time. It was that cold, and it took you most ten minutes to come to. That's where you're mistaken, Miss Betty. I was on the ground, but I wasn't knocked out. I seen something fall from that masked man's pocket as he hit the saddle. You mean to say you was conscious and never lifted a hand to stop those two men? That's right. Well, why did you let him get away? Boss, I figured him for crooks and figured that the paper they dropped might be important. I wanted to get it without them knowing that I had it, Savvy. As things turned out, it's doggone good I done so. Why? That paper has some plans writ on it. Plans? What sort of plans? Smuggling. Let me see it. You sure about that, Buck? Sure as I'm sitting here, Miss Betty. Now, if only the gang goes through with the plans without changing them, there'll be a darn good chance to corral the gang. Where's the paper? Here. What's it say, Paul? Biggest load yet. Fetch enough over the border so as we can drop operations for a few weeks and let things cool off. Is that what it says? Yeah. It can't refer to anything else but the dope, can it, boss? No, sir. It says there that they figure on loading up below the border tomorrow night. Yeah. And cross the next day. Boss, I know you had a lot of false clues, 
But I'll bet you this one is straight. It's the first one that ain't give me someone that I was supposed to fall on search. Yep. The biggest load yet. And the last load for a time. If I don't get them crooks this time, it's likely my last chance to get them will be gone. That's what I figured. Now look, boss. Other times you either worked alone or took a deputy with you. Yeah. Now you can't even trust a deputy. It ain't for me to try and tell you how to run your business, but... Uh, Go on, Buck. Well, I... Well, that is, if you wanted me and some of the boys here to go along with By you... By thunder, that's what I'll do. The work on my ranch can wait. We're right handy with six guns. I know you are, Buck. I wouldn't have asked you to go, but I'm doggone glad to have you now that you've offered. I'll tell the boys about it, and we'll clean up our six guns and get ready for a showdown. Thanks, Buck. If we get these crooks, I'll see that you boys share in the reward. Oh, that's all right, boss. See you in the morning. Right. Now, by ginger, I'll bet we get somewhere. I wouldn't be too sure of it, Pa. Now, what do you mean, Betty? Oh, Pa, every time you get a new lead, your hopes rise up like smoke from a wood fire. The higher you get to hoping, the more of a letdown you have when you come back empty-handed. I got a feeling, Betty, we won't come back empty-handed this time. Call it a hunch if you want. But there's something tells me that this time we'll corral them smuggling polecats for good and all. Well, look at this letter. The biggest load of all. The last trip for some time. I know. I read it. Only thing that'll make us fair will be if that crook that come here changes the plans after finding he's lost a letter. But... Well, what's the matter, girl? You have a hunch that you're going to get the crook. Just so. Well, I got a hunch too, Paul. And what's that? I can't somehow feel that the man who would come here was a crook. Well, sure he was. This letter proves it. Oh, have it your way, then. But I still can't think of that masked man as a smuggler of dope. Hey, what are you doing there? Well, that's Buck Wilson. Hey, fellas. Someone's out there. Well, let me get out. Stop! Hey, we are all fire! Drop him, Buck! Who is that? Oh, you missed him! Do it again, Buck! Get after him, boy! Hey, don't send him out! Hey, don't Come on, Silver! Come on there, old boy! Thomas waiting at the camp! Hi, old Silver! Hi! So you learned, Tonto, the different people have been giving the sheriff false clues. Not right. I see. What you here? I followed Sheriff Sanders when I saw him heading for his home. Uh -huh. Took some time to sneak up close to the house. Uh, you hear him talk? Buck Wilson was in the house by the time I got there. Oh, him foreman? Yes, the man you knocked down. Uh -huh. Buck found some sort of letter. I don't know where he got it, but he was offering to go along with the sheriff tomorrow. Another lead? Yes, Tonto. And from what I heard, it's to be the last trip of the smugglers. Uh -huh. Furthermore, the sheriff is not going to take his deputies with him this trip. He's going to take his own ranch hands and leave the deputies here. What we do? We're going to take those deputies. You got math They'll on. follow me, Tonto, if they think that there's a chance that I might be the smuggler. Oh. Uh -huh. If they do follow me, they'll be on hand when they're wanted. Not right. Get your horse inched up. We're going to start right now. Me do that. I'll go on ahead and locate the deputies. When they're aroused to the point of chasing me, I'll head south. Here, paint horse. Yep. And I'll meet you, Tonto, south of the town. Uh -huh. Come on, Silver. Watch out. Come on, we got a lead on the smuggler. Well, where's he at? Jake Barton's house. Jake's trying to keep him there till we come. Jake sent his brother to tip me off. I'm with you. Let's get going. He was sounding Jake out, seeing if Jake wanted to buy some dope. He's masked. Lead me to him. Do we walk? Fetch your horse. You may need it. Ain't but a step down the road. Come on there. Hey, there's someone running out of Jake's place. That's him. He's going we're after him. Fire it on him. Get along there. Get up. Get up. There he goes. Get going, horse. Get after him. Our man will yep. recognize. Get up there. Get up. Come on, Silver. Come on, boy. There's Tonto waiting. You come. Come on, Tonto. Get off, Payne Park. They're after us, Tonto. That's what we wanted. Now to head for the border. Tonto, Silver. Hello. <laughs> The Lone Ranger racing for the border, Sheriff's men pursuing him, the curtain falls on the first act of tonight's Lone Ranger drama. We will continue in just a moment.
Now to continue our story. On the same day that the ranger led the deputies from town, the sheriff and his ranch hands arrived in the Mexican town of San Sebastian. We may as well stop the cafe there, Sheriff. Someone there will know about all there is that's going on in town. Yeah, I reckon so. <sighs> this is where you generally spend the night when you're here, ain't it, Sheriff? Yeah. Town seems quiet enough. It always is. And yet it's a dead sure bet that this is where them smuggling rats work from. Ah, senor. You're a comrade quick, eh? Oh, there, Pedro. Any strangers around the town? No, senor. Only some of your friends. My friends? Who does he mean? The amigo at the table. My deputies. Well, I'll be doggone. What are they doing here? I'll darn soon find out. Senor, you spend the night, yes? Yeah. I'll be here for the night. So these hombres. Si, senor. I give you the same room as before, huh? Yeah. That back room on the first floor. Well. It ain't easy for me to travel up and downstairs. Come on, Buck. We'll see what Sam and Leif are doing here. Sheriff Sanders. Yep, it's me. Good luck. How'd you find out the masked man was around here? Have you seen him? We seen him all right. We trailed him here. The masked man? Riding a white horse? The same. Who told you two to come down here? We didn't need telling. We're after the reward money that's up for the smugglers. And that masked man's the critter we want. Where's he at now? We lost him. It started last night in town. He was sounding Jake Barton out, seeing if Jake wanted to handle dope. He was? Yeah. And before we could get him, he learned we was after him at Hightail down here. He's still in town somewhere. You sure of that? Dead sure. We got a couple of gents we know watching the trail north. Good. I'm glad you're here. We'll team up. But what brought you here? Buck Wilson found a letter this masked man dropped. It said that the gang was due to bring the biggest load of dope they ever toted over the border. Well, boss, I'd like to speak to you alone. What's the matter, Buck? Let me speak private. Just step over here, won't you? Be right back, boys. You Well? Don't team up with them. Oh, why not? Don't you, Savvy? Maybe they're the ones that are carrying the dope. My deputies? Why couldn't it be? Ain't they giving you some false leads? Mm, there's something to think about there. Sure there is. And it'll be best if we work separate. And me and the boys will keep an eye on them, too. Good idea, Buck. Good idea. Well, somebody better be there, because we can't stay here all afternoon. Sam, I'd soon we didn't team up with the sheriff. How's that? I got my own ideas. Pegleg has been here every time there's been a load of dope took over the border, ain't he? Yeah. Well, put two and two together. What'd he get? Meaning to say that you suspicion? Everyone but you and me. And maybe I ain't even sure about you. Here comes Pegleg back again. Boys, being as you come here by your own selves, maybe it'd be better if you worked that way. Eh? You do what you can to catch this masked man, and we'll do the same. Now that's a prime idea, Sheriff. First-rate notion. Yes, sir. It suits you all right, does it? It sure does. Maybe we can do better working alone. I got a blame good idea as to who a couple of the smugglers are already. Mm -hmm. Maybe I have, too. Uh, I'll see you by and by. What'd I tell you? Sam, that was a dead giveaway. It's easy to see why he don't want us around. We cramp his style considerable. Just so. By thunder, now I know who to watch when he starts back to the States in the morning. Hey, what the... Who tossed that bullet through the window? What sort of warning is that? Look. There's that masked man outside. Great Scott! He throw that cartridge in here. Maybe he wants to be chased. Well, he sure blazed to be accommodated. Let's go. Sam, I never did see such a roundabout trail. Where in Tucker do you think that masked man is heading? Headed for a wooded land, that's sure. Can't be much further away. How's that? Grass still springing up where he rode, see? Gosh, you must be close on to him then. You reckon this might be some sort of a trap? There he is. Ice your hands, mister. We got you covered. I'm close to the camp. I've been waiting for you. What's that? I said I've been waiting for you. Oh, oh there. Oh, there. Uh, waiting for us, huh? Well, just keep them hands high and take that mask off. One minute. Get off those horses. I led you here because I wanted to talk to you. Yeah? Well, we want some words with you, too. Did you examine uh, that cartridge closely? For what? If you did, you'll have a fair idea who you're talking to. Yeah, let me see. Hey, this is a silver bullet. Yes. Then, then you... You don't mean... Now will you talk without demanding that I keep my hands up and unmask? Yeah, I don't know. This is a swell chance to have a look at your face. No, it isn't. Because you're being covered. Covered? Me want you. What the... The red skin. That's the one we heard about. Dead red. Never mind, Sam. You win, stranger. What's the play? What do you want us here for? In the first place, I wanted to make sure you weren't the smugglers. Wait, why, Don? I wanted you... several people to think I was a smuggler. You wanted them to think you yes. were? Yes. The... 
The real smugglers would know I was not and wouldn't waste their time in trailing me. And we trading you, convinced you we wasn't in the gang, is that it? If you had been in the gang, you'd have been so busy getting ready to take that load of dope across the border in the morning that you wouldn't have wasted time trailing me. Well, now that you're convinced, suppose you show us that you ain't a smuggler disguised like the Lone Ranger and sporting silver bullets and a white horse. I don't need to convince you. We're deputies. Not in this country. You can't make an arrest here. By thunder, that's right. You'll have to wait until you've crossed the border into Texas. Well, when we cross the border, then the best I'll way to be sure I'll be at hand to search will be for you to travel with me. With that engine holding a gun on us? No. Come on, Otato. They'll not use their guns. Um, let me watch them all same. You seem blame sure we won't use guns, mister. I'm sure because neither of you men are foolish. If you arrest or capture me now, I wouldn't be able to do a thing. If you let me go where I please and go with me, you'll be free to act as you please when we reach Texas tomorrow. That's a deal, then. Good. It's a truce until tomorrow. But mark my words, mister. No matter what you do tonight, as soon as the Rio Grande is behind us tomorrow, we're searching you and that red skin with a fine tooth comb. Mister, I'm most sorry we're reaching the Texas side of the Rio. Why? Since last evening when we met up, I've sure grown to like your style. Me too. I'd hate like sin to find your saddlebags loaded down with drugs. Me just so. But mind you, if they are, stranger, you're slated to hang. Very well. Here's the shoreline. Come on, Silver. That's a powerful looking paint horse the engine rides. Uh, him. Him plenty good horse. What'd you call the horse? Him not got name. No name? It's alive. Seems to me that horse should have won his spurs afore now. I, uh, I wonder if it's likely to rain afore night. Yeah, I don't know. And clouds off to the west look heavy. Yeah, you sure do. Uh, Sam, study that formation of clouds east of here. Yeah. The sky is sort of gray looking. Dead rat if they ain't taking their chance to break loose. Why didn't you highball it? While we was just studying the paint horse in the sky and not looking at you. Why should I? Blast you. We thunk up that scheme, figuring if you broke loose, we'd be able to drill you. And know that you was in the smuggling gang. Someone else thinks I'm in the gang, too. Yeah? Look south. There comes the sheriff. Sure enough. Buck Wilson and a couple other men with him. Now you can wait until they close in, and you'll have help in searching for the dope. Huh. Help in splitting the reward if we find the dope. I don't think you'll have to split any reward. Why not? Let's wait for the others. Oh, Silver. Oh. Oh, oh, Why won't we have to split no reward? Is it because you ain't got anything for us to find? No, well, the reward, I'm sure, will be paid. But wait just a minute. Other fellers close now. Yeah. Ah, there, deputies. Over them, we're coming. We're waiting for you, oh, Sheriff. Oh, well, well, mister, so we meet again, eh? Yes, Buck, we do. <laughs> Steady, paint horse. What's the matter with that horse? Down, paint horse. Hold your horse in, Tonto. What is oh, that credit? Here, I'll help. Down there. Down, hey, boy. <laughs> Buck, that horse doesn't like you. Do you have any idea why? Well, now, it. hold on. Never mind that horse. We're here for a showdown. You just heist your hands, mister, and stand for a search. You needn't search me, Sheriff. Search yourself. What's that? The Sheriff? You're the one who's yeah. smuggling dope. That's a downright lie. I Wait. Was... You brought dope over the border every time you crossed. That's why you were given all those false leads. Bless you for that. I, I never did. Wait. The Sheriff didn't know he brought the dope over. They always used a room on the first floor of that hotel in San Sebastian. While you were asleep, one of the gangs stole your wooden leg, which was hollow. It was replaced by one which was filled with a dope. My leg? If that's the truth, I... Let me see. Let me see. You'll find that the bottom unscrews. Here, here. Here, give me a hand. Sam, you take a look at the pig. I sure will. And when you got back to your home, the leg was taken and replaced by another hollow one. You were given another false lead to follow. Look! Here's the stuff. Well, Sheriff, I darn to think that my own boss... I wanted... didn't know nothing about it. Now, look here. Wait till I... I finish, Sheriff. There's the dope all right now. This trip was to end the smuggling for a while. It will end it for all time. The crooks wanted to bring a big load of dope across the border this trip. Wanted to pack their saddlebags with Who? them. Who? That's why they wanted to travel in your protection. No one would search the men who were with you. Sheriff, we can back what he says. We was with him all night. We figured he was just pulling wool over our eyes when he let us travel with him to stand watch over your room. And we still ain't sure that he ain't the smoker. No more am I. 
Maybe he's trying to frame me. Frame you? To clear yourself. Just what we hanker to find out, Sheriff. He may be let us see part of the smuggling game to throw us off of suspecting him. You men were with me when that half-breed switched peg legs. Yeah, but you I... You know didn't... that I had no chance to touch the saddlebags of Buck Wilson and Scar Granger. All right, Scar, he's wise. The guns. They're covered. So you're the crook. Yeah, but you won't live to make an arrest. Pain horse, that horse. Hey, 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 Steady. He's tore the saddlebag loose. Look, he's stopping at that saddlebag. He split it open. Get your horse away. He's pounding that saddlebag to dust. It's full of that white stuff. Down, pink horse. Down. Hey, Sheriff, that saddlebag is evidence against Buck Wilson. So it was him that arranged them yeah. false leads. And we vouch for the masked man, Sheriff. Wilson's a smuggler. Yeah. What about it, Wilson? Don't, don't let that devil horse at me. I am up, boys. The half breed is already in custody in Mexico. Gosh, I wonder what made that horse act loco. He probably scented the drug when Buck Wilson lashed him, and he associated the scent with something he learned to hate. Horse has more sense than some people, but how'd you know about Wilson? Wilson didn't bother to trail the man who tossed a silver bullet. Your deputies did. Stranger, that injured horse has sure saved us. If it hadn't been for him, we'd have. Uh, 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 uh. Ain't horse plenty good. <laughs> Injun, he's sure enough won his purse. Uh, By thunder, that horse is a sure enough good scout. Good scout? That good Tonto Lake scout. Hey, old Get him up, scout! <laughs> you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.